Look how my mind plays Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away Look how my mind plays Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away Look how my mind plays To all of you American girls, it's sad to Imagine a world without you American girls, I'd like to So famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm These in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? <coughs> and frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? <clears throat> Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Yes. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Uh -oh. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. self-portrait was done by Robert... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. Don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Everybody. I have my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should have Oh, totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Yeah. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. To all of you American girls, it's sad to I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. You. Kiss, kiss. American Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like Dolly. I wish October would last With forever. Shiny smiles and plastic buddy. I wish I had. Don't need to PC, missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Girlfriend. That is so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drops out. Walking around my own place, wondering why she cries sometimes. Talking about. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. The no one could dry her fountain till she got tired to complain. That's when I fly. by the weird shit posted on the boards. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like that about him. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first.
empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fucked. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Don't stress, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can- Everybody, Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No, but- would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get away from me, psycho! No! What? How, how can that be? Yeah.